All right, welcome to Between Two Pastries. This is Nicole. I'm Annie. Awesome. Hey, Annie. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So St. Patrick's Day is here. I'm so excited. I love this holiday. Do you really? Yeah, I don't know why. I just think it's cool. You do? Yeah, I don't know. Do you do like a St. Patty's Day like nope. run? Or Mm-mm. do you do like a half paint your face? No, nope. and... I really just, I really like corned beef and cabbage and you Irish do? soda. Bed. Yeah, like really? I am a huge, I will, when I've been to Ireland a few times and I go and I basically eat them out of Irish soda bread and butter. Oh, wow. That yeah. sounds awesome. Actually. Yeah, I love Irish soda bread. I like making it. Um, it's just, I don't know. I like the density of it. Well, and it so tastes, good. it tastes different. It does. Like, yeah. I really like it too, actually. Yeah. It's it, a really, really good thing. So I'm excited. I, uh, made some Irish soda bread and so that, that's breakfast, lunch, and dinner until it's gone, uh, <laughs> for me during this holiday. So yeah, I mean, holiday wise, yeah, it's cool. It's yeah. fun. I'm not really into, you know, dyeing things green or going to the river that's dyed green or drinking at 8 a.m. or anything like that especially green beer that's kind of like I don't know that's kind of gross to me like the color Mm -hmm. that grosses me out but Mm -hmm. I I love the color green it's my favorite color but not things like that green yeah yeah that's weird agreed um so yeah, I, I enjoy this holiday. It's it's fun more from the food standpoint. I enjoy sure. it. So sure, that's awesome. Do you do you cook? No, you don't cook. You I bake. well, I do cook. Though. <laughs> I, I, I do cook. I do cook. Honestly, but everything I cook is very quick. So yeah, you're not I making love, Rubens. No, no, I love um, cabbage though. Like oh, I yeah. absolutely love cabbage. How do you make it? And I like sauerkraut. So I've done a lot of things. I've braised cabbage. Oh. Um, I've just roasted cabbage. Okay, yeah. I'll sometimes yep. just flat out steam it. I steam it. Yeah, and it's me so too. so good, especially red cabbage. What do you season? It's amazing. Sometimes it's just a little salt, really. Salt, yeah, that's I mean, all I do. I mean, it's just simple. Right. Really it is, simple. It's basically leaves on your plate. It's yeah. awesome. It's like my guinea pig food, mm-hmm. but cooked. I know. I uh, It's I so good it. for you, though. Yeah. Like, Why? It's, it's one of like that <laughs> high, you know... Antioxidants, so yeah. therefore, you know, anti-cancerous. There's yeah. so many amazing long words that I can't pronounce. I know, that go I know. Into cabbage. That's why I quick got that Y in there. So, I know. <laughs> Better her than me. Yeah. No, seriously. But um, just what about do you? Do you like corned beef? Well, I don't eat meat. Okay, so never mind. Yeah, uh, sorry. I knew that. Yeah. Um, but like from a nutrition standpoint, I mean, corned beef is. Corned beef can be pretty fatty. It can be. Yeah. And that's why, I don't know, like we're serving it uh, for dinner tonight uh, at the hospital. <laughs> and because uh, I was like, yeah, let's do, you know, we want to change up the menu for, sure. you know, it's the holiday. So we're doing corned beef and cabbage and mm-hmm. peas and carrots and yeah. soda bread or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's corned beef. I, I don't know if they're doing sandwiches or if they're just doing corned beef on the side. But yeah, I mean, it, it's, what part of the animal is that? Isn't it the... Uh, isn't it like a ham? I, I think it's similar to a ham. Yeah, yeah I, I this is where I'm. Too. I'm not as uh, educated. I don't. I don't. I don't understand that either. Because, like I said, like it can be a fattier cut depending on where you're going. Where you're going, right? Because otherwise, like I'm gonna have to ask my lean, chef. It's almost lean like a ham, but it's weird. Because yeah, I, I th- I've seen it like both ways. But it's so good. Oh yeah. Were you ever a meat eater? Well, um, for some reason, it didn't bother me as a kid, but then I developed, um, um, well, I was always allergic to beef as a kid, actually, okay. which is so weird. That's weird. And then as I as I grew up, I became allergic to whey, and then I became allergic to chicken. All, and you weren't as poultry, a baby? Right, all poultry. That's so is, weird, because you never hear... Beyond strange. What, yeah. Do you throw up, or is it out the other side? No, it's, it's a horrible reaction that is embarrassing to talk about. Okay, all right, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> we'll, we'll end on that note. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, Nicole doesn't eat beef, but for the rest of us having corned beef, it's a great time to do it, especially if you make it yourself. I think it's a f- fun family thing. I don't know. I just There's an association there with red potatoes and mm-hmm. cabbage and corned beef on that holiday. and I don't know. To me, it's like a Thanksgiving. Like That's the meal, mm-hmm. whether you like it or not. Right, whether you like it or not. <laughs> You're going to make it. So. Yeah. Uh, but the other thing too that that I absolutely love, I love uh, cider, so um, that's that's my plan. Probably have a uh, cold cider, and I used to always have Guinness mm-hmm. um, around the holiday, um, but not anymore. It's just it's I've I've gotten away from that. I don't know why, but uh, I do enjoy the, the Irish beers mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So yeah, so I'm allergic to hops. Okay, so I so literally can't do. Should can't I just turn beer. this off now? No, it's, it's just it's interesting because I no 
know people love. So what I was going to say is that I know Guinness <laughs> is like a a darker kind of a yes. heavier stout. Yes. So because I've never really had it, like I I equate Guinness to like probably my favorite coffee, like something oh, that's really 100%. dark and really nice and bitter yeah. and strong. It's like, like cold coffee because I love coffee, but doesn't taste like coffee. That's how I would. <laughs> so if I could drink beer, I probably would like Guinness. Yeah, it it is, is really good. Guess. When I was in Ireland, it's just it's so different there, like. It's the same Guinness, but it's different. Is it? <laughs> it's like, sure it's just it better. Well, I mean, it's like going to Italy and having pasta. For some reason, yeah. you don't feel, you don't feel icky or uh, right. like you Something metabolize it different. better. Like there's something just really different when you actually have it yeah. there. It's probably because we're on vacation. And that could be it too. It's stress. There's less stress. I don't know. Which we'll talk about. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a, another podcast it's coming for up. us. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk more about alcohol. Do you drink any alcohol at all? You know what? I, I, I really don't. I love wine. Like I oh, okay. really love wine, but yep. it's one of those things where I just, I really don't have it that often. Mm-hmm. And when I do, I, I really enjoy it. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I like my favorite is is any kind of Pinot Noir. Oh yeah, mm, I yeah. really again. I think it's that bitter. It's that rich. It's that. Um, it's like the coffee. I just I like that richness. So I have to ask because this is usually the comment I get when people you know oh I drink red wine oh do you do it for the antioxidants <laughs> no <I'm> not, <laughs> or the health benefits yeah um, I really don't and I really I just. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a drinker anyway, so it's like I can take it or leave it. Right. No, me too. I just happen to like the the noir. But yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, in college, I was a Ooh, yeah. I, I was a Long Island iced tea girl. So Through allergies, <laughs> man. <laughs> I just, you know, we, I'll drink all the hops. Then. Uh, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> so, are there health benefits to you know? We're talking about wine. Are yeah. there health benefits to wine? So the thing about I think again, it, this is one of those things that like media really kind of blows up a little bit. So yes, is there reserve retrol, which is a very good for you antioxidant in wine? Yes, but do you realize <laughs> how, how much many do you glasses have to drink? <laughs> of wine you have to get to get that benefit? And right. that's what we need to understand is that yeah, you know, um, especially like when when we talk about um, certain diets, like we were talking about the Mediterranean diet not that yeah. long ago, and it's like you know. They include alcohol on there. However, <laughs> the whole concept, though, is that if you don't drink, don't start. Right. Like, it's not... It, this right. isn't, like, what's going to help. Like, yes, can can wine in particular kind of open up blood vessels, you know, increase um, oxygenation in there? It actually can. But does six glasses work? <laughs> no. This is no, when we run into... Right. But a glass Cirrhosis. is fine. <laughs> right. Now we're talking about some other issues, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. What about, okay, so with St. Patrick's Day being being today and everyone drinking beer and maybe it's green beer, are there benefits to, you know, nutrition, health benefits, let's say, to having hops? Is is there any? Have you seen anything? I don't think that there's any nec- nutritional benefits. However, there. I mean, because hop is a grain. I mean, mm-hmm. there are B vitamins in hops. Heck yeah, B vitamins. Hundred <laughs> percent. Which we should talk about. We'll talk about B vitamins when we talk about stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's. that's really I was gonna helpful. say that's that's a whole another podcast. Yeah, it is. Um, okay, so we talk about hops having it's a grain, it's uh, B vitamins, but doesn't alcohol metabolize differently in the body than say? Uh, pasta or rice or quinoa being other grains. Yeah, it actually does. So um, to understand alcohol a little bit more clearly, alcohol is, I always call it, it's a really selfish kind of, mm-hmm. I don't, don't want to call it a nutrient, but a substrate, let's call it. So yeah. it's, it's its own. It's, it's super selfish because it wants to be metabolized first. So that's yes. why, that's why like if people like eat and then they like drink a lot too, like sometimes that food will sit, which is I think also why people sort of just feel extra bloated too, Mm -hmm. because that, that alcohol wants to be metabolized first. So that's kind of the thing. And it is essentially metabolized as a fat as well. Okay. Like the alcohol piece is metabolized as a fat. Obviously, if you're having a mixed drink, then the other things in there are metabolized as sugar. Sugar perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, so that's also something to kind of, you know, keep in mind, too. And clearly can be really hard in your liver, so, therefore. So, going back to our topic on diets, we see a lot of people, obviously, that follow, a an, like, an eliminated diet. They eliminate fat from the diet. They eliminate carb from their diet, right? Those are all those fad diets that we sometimes see. Mm-hmm. And oftentimes, they follow their diet, they follow their diet, and then on Friday or Saturday, they're going out and what I would say would be binge drinking, essentially. Right. So how come we can eliminate pastas and grains and rice, or we can eliminate butter and milk and all of these things, but then alcohol is validated? That's oh, okay. I know. How I does, know. What does that mean? What I it, know. 
Does that mean maybe that all of it is related to behavior or mm-hmm. like our mind state that if Monday we can do, we can right. eat this way, but Friday right. we can't? What right. does that tell you? Yeah, yeah. And again, it's just another form of, of manipulation, control, um, restriction. And it, it's still a disordered consumption mm-hmm. kind of a mentality. Okay, so my next question, if, if alcohol is metabolized as a fat, and we, you see all the commercials for, for Miller Lite or Guinness or whatever, you know, vodka brands that I don't know because I, yeah. <laughs> I don't drink that much, but yeah. you see all these commercials saying less than two grams of carbohydrate <laughs> and Miller 64, only 64 calories. Right, right, right. Okay, you know, light beers and stuff or they've, you know, skinny margarita mixes and yeah. wines or vodka, whatever. Right. If it metabolizes as a fat, why are we isolating, an, um, from a media standpoint, the carbohydrate? That's right, because that's huh. what people are looking at. That's Oh, my God. It's like that's the trend. Yeah. If fat were the trend right now, do you think it would be talking about how there's zero fat in it? Right. Or there's lots of fat in it? Or there's, you know, may, you guys, you got to remember these that, that the media, the marketing money on this it's like multi-billion dollar industry right, right and it's 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 like set up to keep everybody confused oh 100 percent. and it's just set up to sell mm-hmm. right really. so we're kind of playing into our you know fat diet uh fanatics here that we're yeah. saying <laughs> alcohol metabolizes as fat sure but it's true um is alcohol bad for some people 100 percent. is it can it be in moderation and balance of course. Of course. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's like our whole uh like platform. Mm-hmm. What again, wouldn't it be great if I could have alcohol and it's not all the time that I feel like garbage and I'm right. not screwing up my metabolism that's right. versus none at all? Right. Of course. But obviously there are people who can't have any at all and I understand that. But yeah. like I it's mind blowing to I me. I know. I know. So, anyways, that's that's what I was curious about is just, you know, alcohol and, and how it metabolizes and why we are breaking it down into a carbohydrate or, mm-hmm. or fearing it from the carbohydrate and right, things. Right. I find that really so amazing to yeah. me. Yeah, it is. I mean, obviously, you know, wine would have a combination of both. And yeah, yep, yeah, your mixed drinks and yep. yada yada. But yep. yeah, when you're focusing right on that, it's yeah. crazy. So, what kind of if if people do like mixed drinks, what kind of what kind of booze do they is is, is has a better nutrition? Is, is there any nutrition to different uh, liquors? <laughs> is, there, is, is there any other B vitamins? In yeah, liquor? right. No, absolutely not. Absolutely uh, not. Well, I know. I know. Wah, wah, no, wah. I know. <laughs> so it's it's it would be what you would classify like a fun food. Uh, yeah, sure. If we're gonna label it, we're gonna uh, yeah, we're gonna call it. It's an extra. It's an. <laughs> I don't even like to give the term fun. It's an extra. I, see, yeah, I don't care yeah. for extra. It's like yeah. It's just alcohol. It's just alcohol. It's just, when I say extra, it's not something you have every day is what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's like an extra thing. Is it like the 80-20 rule? <laughs> it's definitely the 80-20 rule. Of Maybe the 90-10 rule? Yeah. It's, more? It's, it's definitely 99-1. You know, everybody has their thing, though. Some yeah. people really like their dessert. Some people like their alcohol. Some people like uh, like their fat and their bread or, or soda you know, bread. Soda bread. Yeah, you know, so everybody kind of has their thing that, that right. maybe they want that 20% to be. Right, absolutely. And there's no problem with alcohol. I was just thinking maybe if there's like nutritional benefit to it, you know, we could write a write an article for a magazine <laughs> of why why you should. But see how like we're not. Right, exactly. <laughs> because, because there really is no nutritional value to it. Um, yeah. uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk about the v, B vitamins another time, but, right. um, so yeah, any, anything else on alcohol? I wonder if there's any questions on alcohol that we there can might answer. There be some questions on alcohol. We, hey we guys, welcome your questions. If you guys have questions, let us know. Post Leave them on the Facebook page. Otherwise, happy St. Patrick's Day. We hope you enjoyed this and cheers. Have a Guinness. Don't have a Miller Lite. Have a Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> something that matters. A yeah. cider. Something. Yeah. All right. And enjoy. Peace out. Bye, guys.